Hello, it's me, Philip. In a recent video, I repaired this little Game Boy Advance. It had a component which had been broken off the board just here. And during the repair, I was looking at this little transformer here. I've been inspired to take another look at this component and find out how it works. A viewer left me a lovely comment. Um, Fengi, I don't know how to pronounce that. Um, Fengi, and he says, The T1 you were looking at is a transformer, and it was driven by VCC from the battery. And on pin 2, from U4, which will drain the voltage to ground via Q4, an NPN MOSFET. So it will have a proper AC input. With electromagnetic induction, the other side of the transformer, pin 5 and 8, will get AC output, just with a different voltage level. Pin 6 of the transformer will go to C40 and C41 to generate higher DC voltage, in this case 13 and minus 15 for the LCD display. Pin 8 will go to ground because the inducted current needs an exit or a ground reference. You will see pin 6 and 8 are all connected to ground is simply because the inductor on either side of the transformer usually has an extremely low resistance. To me, I just remind myself the transformer runs on AC and voltage is transient and the normal DC principles do not apply. <laughs> then he goes on to say, I actually learned it from the discussion in the comment section of your last GBA repair which is this one and he's having a conversation with Frususki all about it that went a bit over my head as they were going backwards and forwards but I really appreciate two people who know more than me having a good discussion in the comment section on one of my videos so what I've done I've opened it back up to have another look. Now, the block diagram on the schematic says the DC and DC converter and regulator should output negative 15, 2.5, 3.35 and 13.6. So here's the schematic. We've got the transformer here so on U4, pin 4, voltage drive, 5 volts, comes to Q4, which is this component, and the N-channel power MOSFET, which is this one, the FDV303N, and that drives the transformer, I think, on this side. Now I had 3.3 volts, I think, in the video, but I couldn't pick up anything on this side. So I've switched my oscilloscope on and I've begun probing this side. I'm not very good with oscilloscopes, but I've begun probing this side. And this is about to come up now in the video. So there's T16, which comes directly out of the transformer. And if I probe that, I get that signal on my oscilloscope I think you can see I think I can measure that with vertical max or VPP I think that is vertical point to point VPP down there let's see if it will make this bigger 16 volts that's what that measures and that's the output of the that's the output of the transformer now I'm sure I'm, I'm on DC. If I press the menu button and trigger and select settings. Oh, coupling, AC. It looks like it's automatically gone to AC because I'm sure I had that set for DC. So I'm on DC now. And if I read that again,
and press single stop now I'm on DC so I don't know what the difference between AC and DC is on there but it, it's coupling in DC and AC by the looks of it so that's the output of that transformer now if I look at the schematic I should have VDD13 and VDD15 so if I can find them there's VDD13 I've got VDD13 there and VDD15 there they come from these two components which is DA1 and DA2 that's these two so it comes from the transformer through a couple of caps which is these two to here and then they output 13 volts and 15 volts so I'm going to probe that and there's the signal I had before but that's a different signal on that one right that's auto that looks like the same signal to me as best I can say it's it's lower down on the screen let's bring that up that's 15.6 these are 5 volts 5 volt squares yeah 15.6 so I'm not sure why it's lower down on the screen so I'm going to come over here and I'm going to look at these two VDD15 and VDD13 I'm going to bring that up I want 5 volts Ah, is that going negative? That's dropping down, isn't it? Because it's negative. So if I bring my trigger point down to there and put single, will I get that drop? There. But it's stopped at the trigger point. So if I just do that, and they're 5 volt blocks. So it's dropping down to a negative. Perhaps 13? What's this one? And that one's jumping up that's plus can I, can I measure that with this one yeah 12.8 I think that says what about this one 13 that must be negative 13 surely 13.8 negative 13 so that seems to have gone on to DC so presumably that's been filtered out would that be filtered out through that capacitor the capacitor does not allow AC or something like that because these two these two caps C40 and C41 are in in series so I'm just going to look at C40 so there's me AC type of signal like a wave and what's coming out still a wave so it must come through to here so there's the cap so there's the wave I'm no good with these oscilloscopes I keep forgetting it it's trigger the you better get the trigger in the wave form that's it so that comes out of the cap then it goes to it goes up to either DA1 or DA2 I don't know which one of these that just is that just DC I don't know what was that right that's just a solid 5 10 that's nearly 15 volts I uh, don't know what that pin's doing. That's going to ground by the looks of it. So that's smoothing out. I'd be better off going onto the other side of the board. There it is. I'd be best off going back to the other side of the board so I don't 
touch any there's less components to touch on this side yeah i'm quite happy with what i've learned so far that must be why my multimeter couldn't pick it up if i hit single i got a nice a nice picture i'm learning bit by bit how to use this how to use the oscilloscope all right so that was my oscilloscope work i'd like to say a big thank you to fenya 9911 and fususki if i've butchered your usernames i'm terribly sorry but i really do appreciate this little backwards and forwards conversation you've had to try to help me out it really helps when you leave a little bit of information no matter how small it is if i can learn a little bit more about electronics and how things work i really appreciate it so if you've watched till this far thank you very much if you've got anything else to add to the conversation about transformers and what's going on in this little circuit here please let us know and importantly thanks for watching and coming along on the journey i hope to see you all in the next one